I can see them. This is just the first wave. They're dropping something. Oh my God. Super Bears New Writing Company. Um, which means that we commission living writers to write new plays for us. Alongside that, we've built a film wing into the company. But now we're going into this idea of a transmedia show um, with the Lamellar Project, which grants writing. I'm fascinated with the whole idea of telling stories across many different platforms. And, um, and I think that to find a story that works in lots of different uh, mediums, you have to create a kind of universe of a, of a story and how the, the, the universe works. It's a kind of ecology of storytelling, really. And um, there are lots of different components of the universe that an audience can go into and navigate their own way around. The immediate proposal was that two actors would perform together with a, with a transatlantic video conference link. So hooking up with Tiny Dynamite in Philadelphia and an actor in, in, in the real space here. They wanted to explore a transmedia approach as well, which would entail characters and organisations in the story actually having online presences that an audience could explore outside of the confines of, of a performance. Because we've had the, the go-ahead from Upstream and the mentoring, uh, to do that, it's sort of making it possible in a way that we probably, we might not have had the sort of gumption to go with that or the idea, but because it was out there and it was saying, hey, apply, and we had already all these strands, it was a great way to bring it all together. What normally happens is you're commissioned to write something which is very linear. You write something for a specific place or for a, for a, for a piece of television or for a film, you know, it's one thing. How do you tell stories on the internet? What kind of stories will work? Then you start to think in a, in a much bigger sense. In the final development stage, what I found really exciting was the way the online presentation of the story was made so distinctive to the actual theatrical presentation, where we really sort of utilised the potential of of our production approach really to, to combine a sort of a rich selection of pre-prepared video and material that gave you different insights into parts of the narrative which actually weren't shown to the, to the theatre audience so it, it, it sort of used the potential of the online viewers to, to absorb more information that's, that's peripheral to the story but gives you a, a, a richer experience of, you know, of that narrative. We build very, very detailed backstories for the characters that wouldn't be in the script, but from the seeds that are given to us in the script. And I often think, oh God, you know, it'd be really nice to share this with an audience, what we've done here, you know, what we've discovered, a lot of off-text work to do with what happened the day before and that kind of thing that the actors bring to it. With this, we're able to put that, some of that out onto the website and so on and share that bigger picture that we've discovered. It's a bit like a kind of gold rush place we're in at the moment where nobody's quite sure what's going to happen and nobody's quite sure what the, you know, there's no reference points particularly for it. So you're kind of making it up as you go along a bit, but there's a kind of vocabulary that, that exists. And I think what's really exciting is seeing uh, the potential for that. So, so working um, with, with you guys at Upstream and just getting, getting a sense of what the potential for it is and how, how big it could be. Uh, um, in terms of reaching a, a bigger audience.